Welcome to the Science Corner of Bombay Teachers Training College with me Ansari Hafsa. In this video we will be performing an experiment on the principle of diffusion. Let us see what do we need. For this experiment we need three different glasses, one for cold water, one for hot water, one for normal water. Along with it we need some liquid food coloring. Fill in the glass with equal volume of water differing in their temperature. Once the glass are filled, start adding liquid food coloring drop by drop to each of the glasses. Let the color diffuse for the next 20 seconds. In the meantime, let us try to understand the principle of diffusion. Diffusion is a physical process. It refers to the net movement of molecules present in a substance from a region of higher concentration to one of the lower concentration. After 20 seconds, this is how the water looks with visible difference in the color of the liquid of all three classes. Let us try to understand this with the help of graphic. The blue dot represents the molecule of water while the red dot represents the molecule of the liquid food coloring. The molecular movement in hot water is quite high due to higher kinetic energy. When compared to normal water, the molecules move at a moderate rate. In cold water, the molecule moves at much slower rate. From this, we can conclude that due to more kinetic energy in hot water, the color diffuses at a faster rate. A moderate rate of diffusion is seen in water at room temperature, while the slowest rate of diffusion is seen in cold water as a molecule possesses the least amount of kinetic energy. Moving on to the next experiment. In this experiment, we will be learning more about osmosis and its effects on raw potato sticks. For this experiment, we need 4 bowls, a potato, a spoon, a knife, some salt and a glass of water. Now peel off the potato and cut it into sticks of equal length and size. Once it is done, keep one bowl aside for plain water, add 1 tablespoon of salt to the second bowl, 2 tablespoons of salt to the third bowl and 3 tablespoons of salt to the 4th bowl. Now dissolve the salt in all the bowls in some amount of water. Then raise the water to equal volumes in all the 4 bowls. Add 2 potato slices in each of the bowl and let it soak for the next 20 minutes. A visible difference is seen in the shape and size of the potatoes as we move from potatoes from ball 1 to the potatoes of the 4th bowl. The potatoes of the 1st bowl remain tough and rigid while that of the 2nd shows some softening and a bit shrink. Potato strips of the 3rd and the 4th bowl shrink increasingly and also become flaccid. The observation made is that there is a change in the size of the potato strips. The length of the potato strip in distilled water increased in length. However, the latter strips showed gradual shrinking in direct proportion with the concentration of salt solutions. The strips in the most concentrated solution decreased the maximum in length. This is simply because the process of osmosis. The potato immersed in higher concentration showed higher flaccidity, bending more than those with less salinity by the action of plasmolysis. There was also a gradual change in the color of the potato strips. The potato strips of this experiment follow the principle of osmosis which is a net movement of a solvent across the semi-permeable membrane toward a higher concentration of solute. In biological systems, the solvent is typically water, but osmosis can occur in liquids, 
supercritical liquids or even gases. On the other hand, the term flaccidity means when a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, the plant cell loses water and the protoplasm of the cell is pulled away from the cell wall. This leaves space between the cell wall and the cell membrane and the plant cell become flaccid. This condition is called flaccidity. Lastly, we can conclude that the shrinking of potato is mainly a result of osmosis. The salt solution acts as a hypertonic solution. As such, water diffuses out of the semi-permeable membrane of the potato. On the other hand, the distilled water acts as a hypotonic solution, hence water diffuses into the potato. Welcome to the last video of this series with me Ansari Hafsa. In this video, we will be talking about concept of density by using sugar solution of different concentration. For this experiment, we need four separate glasses, some water and some sugar. Keep the first glass aside for plain water. Add one tablespoon of sugar to the second, two tablespoon of sugar to the third, add three tablespoon of sugar to the fourth glass. Now dissolve the sugar and bring the water to equal volume in each of the glasses. Add different food coloring to each glass so as to mark the different concentration of the sugar solution. Start adding the sugar solution from the fourth glass that is of the highest concentration by using a syringe. Carry the same process with each of the sugar solution in a decreasing order of their concentration. Be careful while transferring the liquid of different solution so that it forms layers of different colors. Ultimately, we find four different tires of four different colors in the glass, differing in the concentration of the sugar solution. The solution with the maximum concentration sinks to the bottom of the glass while that of the least concentration stays at the top. This in turn shows that the density of the solution is in direct proportion with the concentration of the sugar in the solution. The concentrated the solution, the greater will be the density. With this, we conclude that the density of the liquid depends on the constituent particles that is the concentration of mass in the liquid. In this experiment, as the amount of sugar increases, so does the concentration in the solution. This leads to formation of solution with increasing density. So we can conclude that the sugar solution at the bottom has the highest density while the one at the top has the least density among them. Thank you.